My name is Yun Jae Lee, and I play jungle for Aqua Fox. And my summoner name is Rush, as you guys know. I grew up from Seoul, which is the capital of South Korea. And I lived in apartment, so which was kind of simple life. <laughs> I would say Korea is pretty strict about sons or daughters' education. And my parents were one of them. They were really strict about me getting really good academic score in school. Like they really wanted me to get into good university. So I couldn't really play video game much when I was young. I entered one of the top university from Korea. That's why I can speak English a, bit, a little bit better than like others. I didn't like campus life mainly because I didn't have interest in studying much. Entering university was mostly for satisfying my parents. So I could play, start playing League of Legends after satisfying them once. <laughs> I started play, playing League of Legends season two, but I still didn't enter university. So I couldn't really play a lot or professionally. Okay, I was pretty much troll. <laughs> Chilling. Someone will come. Someone has to come. Oh, bye bye. Let's get some lesson, buddies. <laughs> I wouldn't say I was toxic, but I was like chilling because I don't care about ELO. I just play for hobby. I was gold. <laughs> I got banned <laughs> for two weeks because of some trolling behaviors like running it down <laughs> or bullying other players. Definitely different with me, like right now. <laughs> And I quit because of studying and I came back season 4, I think August and I hit Challenger in 2 months because I played League of Legends season 2 and even though my ELO was low, I think I was pretty good at League of Legends. I just like declined to win. <laughs> he's going for a kill. <laughs> he walks right by him. He's, 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 he's spotted. He's, well, this is still a flashless NAR. Like, you make a good enough play, there's a flash kick and a Q, he's got it! Oh my Perfect god! Perfect play by Rush, he knew he could take it! So I think I was already talented and was good enough. I hit rank 1 in 5th, 5th month in season 4 and got a lot of offers from every region and became pro player. Next up is going to be number four on our list, and that is another jungler. It's Rush, the solo queue god of Korea. He's rushing into fill a jungle role for Team Impulse. Hardy har, rushing into fill a jungle role. Honestly, though, I'm really intrigued by this acquisition. So apparently, season four. I think people, people cared about solo queue a lot. So I got offered from Europe, NA, and China, Korea. I choose to come NA because maybe I has had some fantasy on it, like, you know, like American life. Because Korea is kind of strict environment. And people say that America has some, a lot of freedom and maybe fun <laughs> in real life. So I just wanted to experience something fresh and new. Uh, to be honest, it didn't feel like I'm coming to US because most of my teammates didn't speak English. We spoke Korean, Chinese, and sometimes English. <laughs> Please help me in welcoming your 2015 North American Summer Split MVP, Rush! When I was awarded MVP, I felt like that was obvious. <laughs> I was the best player in the league. I mean, it might, it might sound like being arrogant, but I think I had dominated. I think I was the first one who got MVP from the fourth place team. I think I have done well for this season, season four, season five. And I think I can do better next season too. Hey, my name is Yoon Jae Lee, also known as Rush. And I'm going to be the new jungler for Cloud9. In season 6, I joined the C9. There was no Korean. I was alone. <laughs> I didn't have any chance of speaking Korean and I was forced to speak only English. So I started asking Sneaky or Jensen, uh, how do I pronounce this? <laughs> what should I say here? What does this mean? <laughs> I seriously believe I learned English wrong because I joined C9. And they had definitely very 
bad vocabularies. They just say like really bad word without hesitation, like mother blah blah blah. <laughs> I kind of picked those up because I thought it was okay. Sneaky says butthole. I follow him. Butthole. Sneaky says ass. I follow him. I say ass. I think after screenplay, because I told you that I had some fantasy before coming to NA. <laughs> Maybe my fantasy all disappeared. This guy doesn't look like what I expected. <laughs> uh, maybe what about Korea? <laughs> Shouldn't I try once? <laughs> so I left C9 after roster is locked and I went back to Korea. I think it was August. So 2017, I invested my time to be better player. Then I got picked up by KT. You guys want to know about this man, it's Rush. He will be playing his first ever game in Korea on any roster. My team's game's understanding was pretty bad. I was definitely good as individual player, but not as team, team game's jungler. So I, my skill level was behind a little bit. Score was the best jungler, definitely. So I could have learned a lot of things from him, especially he played for ADC or top lane as a professionally. So he had better understanding of the game, and I could steal, steal it. <laughs> and I was in NA. Everything was jungling centric. In my point of view, this is lethal. They have to die. I can kill them. In my point, I can win 1v1. That was all. For now, as long as I joined KT, they talk about uh, this minion wave or this matchup. God, things are gonna happen, so if we can predict, and if we react, and if we plan it earlier, you can make a better play. It's so like my perspective became like wider and I could have a better understanding of the game in general. So I think I'm a better player now. And facing them on the red side today is gonna be Echo Fox. In the top lane, we have Solo making his return in the jungle. It is Rush in the mid lane. Phoenix bot and support sticking together are gonna be Apollo and Hakuo with Coach Song. I felt like if I play for LCK, I have nothing in Korea. Like, I don't have any fan base. The people will think like I'm one of the bottom players because they know nothing on me. So I'm not gonna have a power. I also learned a lot of things from KT. I really, really wanted to prove it. So I just wanted to find a team who will play around me. It's not about they're gonna make me a superstar. It's about I want to have teammates who listen to me and share opinions around me. NA is definitely the best region if I look for this. So I choose to come back to NA again. And while Echo Fox has three fifths of last year's clutch roster, the highlight of their off season roster moves has to be the return of the one and only kind boy himself, Rush. <laughs> it's gotta be, I mean, he was an MVP last time he was here in the NALCS. And then he was playing on KT uh, under Score, who many consider to be the best jungler in the world. Uh, he thinks he has learned a lot. To be honest, I was a little bit hesitated because Echo Fox lost their all existed players. But as long as I heard that Phoenix will join as a mid laner and Apollo is ADC and he's my previous teammate and I know that how good he is and how good human being he is, like I felt like, oh, these guys will listen to me and respect me and we can maybe have a like, good environment to improve, you know? If you have good personality and attitude, we can definitely improve, even though like our start will be a little bad. He has been sharing that he's very excited to play with Phoenix, even though he has been memeing him pretty hard <laughs> on his stream, flaming him quite a bit. I knew Phoenix from season five, so we were friends from back then, and we were kind of talking to each other and playing solo queue together in Korea or NA, so we already were friends before joining Echo Fox. He might be actually a good mid laner. He could be, that's what I believe. I think he has good Pretty good individual skill. Maybe he doesn't like it, but I think he, he lack at maybe some team plays understanding, you know? If he fix the issue, he might be the best, you know? <laughs> I trust him. From the ashes rises a hero, Phoenix, getting in there in the middle of everyone, just lighting them up. And Echo Fox will now take down this Baron for themselves. A wonderful twist on what looked like a disastrous situation. People have rated Echo Fox as like one of the worst team, but I don't think so, but we still have some issues. And if we fix it, we're gonna be better and better. I, I think our players deserve like something better. Like people disrespect our team or me or teammates, but 
I think we deserve better one. And nothing <laughs> will stand between Fox and the Nexus. Turtle will fall, JJ will follow, and Echo Fox will find the win. That Baron play where they came up huge, stopped the Baron, flipped the momentum, and made it a Fox game means that Rush doesn't have an 0-2 week ever still on his record. And so I want to have better result in LCS. So I'm gonna practice harder, harder, and maybe if I see a chance, I can maybe become MVP again. <laughs>